clean window, measure and cut film, identify clear liner, wet window and film, remove clear liner, apply film to glass, smooth film, trim film, squeegee dry. Oh, this is easy. This should be no problem. We get this done in a minute. Hi, I'm Peter Marr. Welcome to Lift Nest. So today, we've got this very bright, very hot window. I can actually feel the heat coming right off of it. So we're gonna learn how to put some heat control window film on this window to control the heat, because it's hot. It's summertime, the sun bakes in the south facing window all day. It's an office, it gets hotter than anywhere else in the house. Let's make it a little more comfortable, shall we? So the first thing you wanna do is clear out any obstructions from your windows. Trust me, this is gonna be a lot easier to take these guys off instead of trying to work around them. So if you have any valance or any blinds, just go ahead and remove those. This one's gonna be pretty easy. It's set up like a lot of blinds. You have a little piece of plastic that clips into the metal bracket that holds the blinds. And this guy should just pop right out or we'll just break it and buy new ones. It's not my house, what do I care, right? So all we gotta do is just pop the clip and it's just a little hook clip on the backside. And that's it right there. It just clips in. We've got four of these guys holding it. And we should get this. There you go. Makes a little noise, kind of a scary breaky noise, but as you can see, we are professionals. We haven't broken anything yet. Yeah. Every time you see a set of blinds, a lot of times the hardware, the strings, everything that makes the blinds raise and fall are gonna be contained inside this metal track. When you install blinds, usually you have a little plug that goes in on both sides, and there's always a little trap door right in front. This side's wide open now. Now this is a very heavy set of blinds, so you have a couple of extra supports in the middle. Now these supports are actually gonna hook over, and we're gonna have to carry this guy right out. And voila. No more blinds. We cleared off everything that was protruding over the window to make it easier. So it's just blank slate. And if you notice, there's some dirt, some stuff, looks like some stucco left over from the recent stucco job that was on there. We're not really concerned about the outside of the window. We're concerned about the inside because we're gonna do all of this work from the inside where it's nice and cool. So first thing we need to do is clean off this window. And it's as simple as taking some Windex, wiping the window down, and also there's uh, a few things. If there's, uh, if there's anything protruding on the window, if you have a sticker, if you have any paint, if you have any gunk on the window, uh, we're gonna have to clear that off because we don't wanna put the film over that because all it's gonna do is create a bubble and it's gonna look like a big blah. So the first thing you wanna do is scrape the window down. It's a pretty clean window. I mean, we got a little bit of dirt, a little bit of dust on it, but the one thing I'm worried about is this sticker. Take a nice flat razor right on the edge. And this is a little bit of an older sticker. You can tell the older ones tend to flake a little bit more. The newer ones that have been on there for just a small amount of time, they'll start to peel back. And you can see the gummy stuff is still, still a little chewy on there. And it's a kind of a catch-22. Whatever works best, if you want to you keep hitting it, piece at a time, but just make sure you're not getting the, the gummy part on the blade, because it will fold back over and you'll end up just smearing it back. So sometimes it's easier just to do a solid scrape all the way across. Sometimes it's easier to just break it through. Back and forth, back and forth. Then just rub your finger over it, make sure there's nothing left. And it looks like we did a good job. Good job, Razor. You did great. So we got the obvious stuff off of the window. The other thing you may want to do is rub the blade over your window just to catch any anything you may have missed. 
pretty bright window. You may not be able to catch everything with your eye, but you're definitely going to catch it with a razor blade. Now that we've scraped the window, it's time to clean the window. And this is just a standard cleaning solution that you can get anywhere on the planet. And any kind of cloth or even a paper towel would work at this point. So put some generous, generous cleaning solution on there. Wipe around in a circular motion or up and down, either way. And I'm go through it one more time. Reminds me of being a kid, having to clean windows. Horrific. Worst days of my life. It's about 30 years of nicotine and dust. Good old San Fernando air in there. Now, once you clean the window, if you look out and you still see streaks in the window, that means there's still dirt on there. So feel free to clean it again and again and again and again. Because once you clean this window, that's as clean as it's gonna get. Anything you can still see in this window is gonna be under the film and you're never gonna be able to get to it without taking the film off or breaking the window. So now that we've cleaned it, we can actually see if there's any spots that we missed. All the way down to there. Down here, you don't have to worry too much about it because we're actually gonna cut the film back just a wee bit off of this corner for a little expansion. So I would suggest once you clean the window off with Windex and a regular paper towel, Take a lint-free cloth and just go over it just to make sure there's no uh, pieces or fibers from the paper towels that are stuck on the window. And just one, one nice little brush all the way through. And this window is very, very clean now. All the dirt we're seeing is actually on the back side of the window, on the outside of the window. That's fine. So now we've cleaned the first window, it's time to clean the second window. I got so good at cleaning the first window that this one's gonna be so much easier. Watch, I'll give that half the time. Now it's time to measure these squeaky clean windows. Anytime you see a measurement, it's usually left to right, top to bottom. So it's length by height. So these windows are gonna be roughly 33 and a quarter. By 37 and a half. 33 and a quarter, 37 and a half. 33 and a quarter, 37 and a half. 33 and a quarter, 37 and a half. Now it's time to open the box. And what we're using is Gila. Gila. Hopefully they will sponsor this episode and pay us at least $10,000 just to show this video. I know they made their own, but I think ours is gonna be much better. So it's the heat control window film. This is the goods. This is the stuff. If I put this on my head, I would look like Destro. Nobody knows Destro, do they? So 
So if you forgot to bring tape, actual scotch tape or just any kind of adhesive clear tape is easy to find, easy to use, but if you ran out, what you can always do is take the sticker that comes with the film, cut it up into at least three strips, and hold on to these for later, and I'll show you why in a second. Tools you're gonna need, permanent marker, a pair of scissors, and a straight edge. The rolls are 36 inches wide, and our genius producer produced a 36 inch straight edge. We're gonna roll this guy out, and I'm just gonna set this uh, straight edge right here, just to hold the end down. Roll it out. These are in Spanish. Huh. So our measurement for the window is 33 and a quarter by 37 and a half. The film is conveniently 36 inches wide. So as far as the 33 and a quarter goes, that's gonna cover it quite nicely. So we don't have to trim any edges. In fact, we're gonna use one of the factory edges on one side so we uh, save one edge of trimming. Saves a lot of time. The length is 37 and a half, a little bit longer than 36. So when you measure it out, you always wanna add about an inch or two, usually about an inch. So that way you have a little bit of room in case you don't get it just squared away exactly or for whatever reason, you wanna leave a little bit extra. So 37 and a half, I'm just gonna go 38 and a half. And I'm using just a Sharpie right here and I can go 38 and a half off of that edge. And I'll measure the other side, 38 and a half. Now we can take our straight edge, run it right on that edge right there. Let's get right over here. And you don't have to make an entire line. You can actually just go in increments as long as you know where your line is. That was my first left-handed line I've ever done in my life. Now, you don't have to chomp at it. You don't have to do this. It's not your, uh, not your barber shop. All you have to do is get a little air under it and cut in and close down we should probably measure it one more time, just to make sure, just to make sure. Okay. Right. Yeah, measure this many times. Make life a lot easier for you. So, all you gotta do is open that up, and you don't have to chomp into it like Pac-Man. You can just graze across, Keep one side taut. If you lift it up a little bit, that way it'll just smoothly come out the same edge as the scissor edges, top to bottom. If that didn't make sense, it's okay. It didn't make sense to me either. Now this is our extra edge over here. Now, we've got our film cut and ready to go. Since we have two windows, we have to do this again. This is what we saved the sticker for. If you don't have any tape, any scotch tape, you can take the sticky piece of the sticker, lay it on the bottom, sticky side up, and you can lay the other side of the sticker right here. And then once these two guys are pressed together, once you start pulling them apart, they're gonna peel off the protective layer, which is this clear layer, and the film itself is actually the underside. And the side that's gonna stick to the window is what used to be touching the protective layer, now it's gonna be touching the window. So as we peel it back, we're gonna spray it with the adhesive spray to keep down the static clean and keep it nice and smooth before we put it on the window. So here's the window film application solution. Don't drink it, don't put it in your eyeballs, put it right on the window. That's what it's made for. Uh, off, turns to on. And before we put the film on, we gotta spray the window down. I just hope it doesn't dry, so we may have to do this pretty quick. Now this is where the third piece of tape comes in. 
you can hold down one corner of your table, one corner of your film. And now, as you bring this guy across, spread it fairly, fairly generously across here. And the last thing you want is to have a pinch, because that pinch, like I just did, may start to squander out into a pinch later on. And you're gonna to wanna to work from the middle out. This guy up here. And the one thing you may wanna do is not do it on a very hot day, because what it's gonna do is make everything dry that much faster, make it that much harder. So the reason why we're putting the, uh, the solution on the window film itself is we want to keep it nice and smooth. It makes a squeegee run nice and smooth on the window. And this way we can run this guy out. Makes a good sound. lucked out so far. You say we're 100 percent lucky, but now I know in the actual instructions it says to uh, leave a couple of leave a couple of inches off, but I put film on, which I do all the time. I like to go very, very close. So you get everything out of the way. I can already feel the, the difference in the temperature. Because when I stand over here, it's actually pretty hot. I can feel the heat radiating in. Over here, nothing. It's like I'm in Antarctica. It's great. It's amazing. Now it's time to trim the window film. We've got it, uh, we've got all the air bubbles brushed out to the edge. And again, you wanna start in the center and you wanna work your way out because this film is gonna be on the same plane as the glass. You just wanna keep the bubbles worked out. You wanna keep it nice and flat so there's no stretching, no um, folds, no compounding of the film. One thing I would suggest, if this is your first window, start trimming in a corner that nobody really looks at. Make it your first corner, make it your test corner. In fact, I'm gonna start trimming this corner right down here. I'm really gonna use a regular old utility knife. It's a tool that I know how to use really well. <laughs> we'll see about that. And let's get that guy right up in there. And if you notice, I lined up one edge right here. That way it's a little bit easier to trim out.
Now, if you get into a corner like this, you do have the option to go ahead and splice it out. Just like that. So that way the corner wraps in nicely and you don't get pinched up on that corner so you don't get the giant bubble. So now, just get there. there. And then I'm actually gonna try to follow the trace of weather stripping on the inside without cutting through. Now the other thing I would suggest too is if you have a bookshelf that's this close to the window, you should move it. We'll do that on the next one. When you do pull it, you may want to pull away from the window, because that way, if there's anything catching, it's not going to pull it too far away from the window itself. So when you're doing the side windows, I would almost suggest going from the bottom up. And here's the reason why. Either go from the bottom up or leave a little bit on the top edge because you don't want to scrape into the window this way. You always want to cut away from a corner. So, the one thing about these little rubber guys, these little rubber grommets on these aluminum windows, is that they flex. So when you go to cut them, you gotta be really careful, because you'll run into a situation where you may cut it just a wee bit short. You may have to stuff it on there. That's what we're running into here. Now, cut it just a wee bit short, you may run into a little bit of a back bubble, but, that's why I'm here to tell you. You can always lift that guy up just a hair. Or you can trim it just a wee bit shy. So the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna take this blade, and turn it backwards so the sharp end's not going in the direction I'm going in. And then just stuff it right under there. And I don't know if you noticed that. Can you see right in there? Where the window film is right on the edge of that rubber edge? Got it. So that could potentially cause a little problem. So you have one or two options. You can just take the blade 
and run it down just a little bit to make sure the window film catches right underneath there. And it's still gonna have plenty of room to flex and move around in there. This way you don't end up with any bad little bubbles on the side. That way the window film is tucked underneath there. Except in this corner, it's being a pain in the ass. Now chances are you're not gonna put this on exactly straight. If you can, great. You can line up one edge right onto the edge of the windowsill and you already got one side trimmed out. But if you have an edge that tapers out like this one, I got a little bit longer here off of this side and very short right to the edge on this side. Always wanna start with a longer side out. It's kinda of hard to start digging into the window film when it tapers off ever so slightly. You may end up tearing it, you may end up pulling it away from the window itself. You're always gonna to wanna to start off on a point in a corner. You slice it right off the corner right there. Think of it as like putting carpet sideways onto the wall. And this I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna pull the blade back just a little bit so I can use the knife itself to actually rest the edge on. And that way it works as a pretty good guide as far as where I'm gonna cut the film at. Start on a corner, go out towards the corner. Make sure that's cut, good to go. We're adhered in the corner. Here. Now if you're looking for a good squeegee, you can either use a credit card or you can use this credit card's number. 4862-3682. And then you use that credit card number to buy a good squeegee. So after you take a straight edge, a little bit, a little bit more of a stiff straight edge, not a squeegee, you get rid of some of these fine, fine bubbles. One thing you may want to run into, one thing you may run into is if you go a little too fast, you may end up with these, these folds in the film. And these are the folds where the air bubbles caught up to themselves. And it could be a few different reasons. It might be the window was drying out too fast. It might be you had an overzealous uh, person on the card. But if it looks like that, you're going to have to live with it. Don't do that. See if we can get this guy to line up on one edge here. Let's see where. Oh, it's close. Very, very close. Yeah, that's good.
technique. Yeah, so right now we use the squeegee to get most of the big bubbles out. And the squeegee does leave behind a couple of these faint little bubbles. And all I'm doing is using a harder edge, and a credit card is a perfect tool for that. Especially when a credit card is not yours. And you can just smooth some of these bubbles out. Take them right to the edge. Okay, we've got our film up and we're going to put this guy back up in there. And what works well, setting one side in, getting the other side to go in, and it fits nicely right back where we found it. This guy is supported on these two in the middle. Got these caps, we'll shut the doors on both ends. I don't know if you noticed, but it's a little bit darker in here. And if you look on the outside of the house, the windows are actually a little more reflective. They're reflecting the heat back out into the atmosphere, probably causing global warming, but I, I don't think so. This is, a very, this is a very common tool that we use here. It's a, uh, it's a miniature step stool. Probably not rated for my weight. I'm trying to lose a little weight, get my buff back. And then we're gonna clip these guys back in. Easiest way to get these guys to clip back in is you lay it down right inside the rail, because the rail has a little lip on it. Set these guys in and just fold it back over. There you go. So the film is on, it's trimmed, it's cut, everything is in the trash, the blinds are back up, I feel less heat coming in off the window, and I'm just gonna check the edges. Always wanna do this before you walk away from a job, just to make sure there's no bubbles, make sure all the edges are clean and neat. And we had a little bit of a problem cornered down here. This guy was being a booger. And these aluminum windows, these uh, sills, they actually have a rubber seal all the way around them. It's kind of tricky to trim in and out of. Sometimes when you trim it, you have to peel the rubber back and stuff the tint in. All right, that sums it up. If there's a job that you need done that you haven't seen us do yet, go ahead and fill out the request form on LiftNest. We'll go ahead and find a great place to either fix that job so you can see us do it, or we may even come to you and fix your job for you.